Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, plan a flight. Uh, today we're going to be doing something really simple from uh, Boston to uh, Philly, KBOS to KPHL. Uh, really short flight. If you want to do it, you know, it's only like half hour or something like that. Uh, so anyway, let's let's get into it. So uh, my main sources are AirNav, uh, these two tabs. Um, Sky Vector and FlightAware. Um, also, what you can do is 41411. If you text the uh, ICAO of the airport to that, uh, and then Matar, it'll give you a uh, complete Matar of that airport, so you can plan runways. Um, this is not specific to any. Simulator, X Plane, FSX, anything like that. So, um, that's pretty much it. So, first of all, you can take a real world route or you can plan it yourself. Um, so, if you wanted to plan it yourself, you would go to Sky Vector, you hit Flight Plan, and you do Boston and the two airports. You get a route pulled up. Uh, this is a high end route. So you want to take the H charts um, or high and route. Um, now, usually, what I do is I take it either to I forget the fixes. There's one R nav that'll take us down towards this way. But it's the Pat three. Yeah. So look, you got Pat's there. You slide in between. So we'll take the path three departure, and that either takes you, I believe, it's not Hartford, so it's some of the fixes as your paths. Uh, we can just double check that. Um, so you come down here in AirNav, you can find your chart. Um, paths two, not paths three, and um, so you go paths and Bradley or Nelly. Um, usually Bradley works because that'll put you on an airway. I believe Nelly does as well. Um, yeah, Nelly works, but I th yeah, Bradley and Nelly are actually like right on each other, so I think it makes more sense to go to Bradley. Um, all right, so we have that. Uh, I'm not putting in the rest of the fixes for the departure because it's an RNF departure, and that depends on the runway. Um, so we'll do that in a little bit. Um, from what I know, I believe usually at Philly, right now I think the runways are, we're landing on the two sevens. Um, yeah, I think it's the Garden 1, something like that. Um, if you don't know for sure, uh, what, uh, why am I clicking on departures? That's really stupid. If you don't know for sure, then what you can do is just, you know, click once and um, just find a good departure, or uh, I mean arrival, sorry. Uh, Jim G2, yeah. So, usually it's kind of a weird route because it takes you more south, but the airport doesn't have arrivals coming from the, uh, from the northeast, so you have to go down to Briggs on an airway and then take the Jim G2, but, um, it's not really long, so. So, what we can do is we can take that fix Briggs or our transition fix. So and put that before Philly, and then what you can do, or actually, I th it might be the socks too, might be better, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So you know, we'll do socks. Wrong fix. I always forget. Sorry. There we go. So now we have socks to brakes. Oh, yeah, can't forget glucose because you have to go there too. Um, so then we'll go down to Sandy Point and then to Hampton. And then that takes us on a good amount of airways. Uh, if you're using FSX, then what's, it's really easy. Uh, you guys have realistic FMCs, so you can just type in the airways. Um, for X-Plane Pilots, it's, uh, you can get 
certain plugins, like an FMC plugin where you just type in all the fixes and then you know it's really easy. So I'm just getting all the fixes on the airway right now uh, just so we have them. And then what you can do is you can take the arrival, so Briggs to Cedar Point, VCN, or Cedar Lake, what am I thinking? Uh, and as I said, they're usually landing on the two sevens, um, so it's really easier just to go this way to uh, towards area. I'm just gonna uh, mess that up for a sec. Just give that one sec. Okay, there we go. Look much better. Um, so that's usually the rival. There are a bunch of fixes in between here, but uh, you know. So after you have all that done, you pretty much have your flight plan. Um, I wouldn't trust this up here. Usually it'll give you an estimate. Like usually this is about 300 ground. Depends like what you're in. Like a CRJ200, that'd be 300 ground in knots. Uh, so that'd be about an hour. I mean, it just depends, you know, on your cruising altitude. Um, it's really simple. You know, or you can use flight aware, and I believe I actually did the real world route. Um, so we type in Boston and then Philly. You search for route, and then you want to take the arrived ones. So we'll do uh, the southwest one, and look at that. That's actually the same route that we did. Um, you know, Sandy Point, Sox to. Lucos, then to Sandy Point, Hampton, down J one twenty one to Briggs, and then the Jim G two. Uh and what what I usually do is when I plan a flight, um I'll go right to Flight Aware and then I'll just take the real world route and then put it all in a sky vector, get my total distance, you know, but I also check the uh Matars. Um if you're not a Vatson pilot, I suggest using the text thing as I said earlier. Um or when you get on VATSIM, you know, you usually don't know your runway right away unless you're using uh, the XA car thing. It's an FSX feature um, where you get your clearance like real pilots and you don't talk to ATC like while you're in the plane. You can just get it offline of the sim in like your web browser. Uh, so that's pretty much it. You just have the flight now. Uh, so when you log on to VATSIM or whatever, um, you know, just remember to check that runway for RNAV departures. Otherwise, you know, they're usually vectored. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh...